Welcome, my dear friends, to tonight's bedtime story. My name is Jacob Evans, and each story I create comes from my heart to yours, infusing peace and a touch of magic into your dreams. Tonight's tale takes us to a mystical forest where the enchanting presence of a kind witch and her magical potions create a haven of wonder and tranquility. As you settle in, let the rhythm of this story and the serene sounds of the forest cradle you in a comforting embrace. Even after our tale ends, the gentle echoes of the forest will continue to play, so there's no need to worry about it ending, or the silence that follows. Now, make yourself comfortable. Let your body relax into your bed. Let go of the day's concerns. You have done enough for today. Truly, it is enough. As you drift off, I'll be right here, guarding over you with my voice. Before we begin the story, let's take a couple of deep breaths together to prepare for the night. Inhale deeply through the nose. And gently exhale out the mouth. Good. One more. Breathe in. And out. Perfect. In our story tonight, we embark on an extraordinary journey to a magical treehouse cottage in the heart of an enchanted forest. Guided by Ilara, a kind and wise witch, we discover the wonders of her potion-making craft and the peaceful haven she has created among the branches of a grand oak tree. As the boundary between the ordinary and the magical fades away, breathe deeply, close your eyes, and let's drift together into this enchanting journey. As I wandered through the ancient, mystical forest, the air around me shimmered with enchantment. The trees whispered secrets, their leaves rustling in a symphony of magic, while soft beams of moonlight filtered through the canopy casting an ethereal glow on the forest floor. My steps were light, almost as if the forest itself was guiding me towards a hidden destination. Suddenly, a shimmering light caught my eye. 
it glowed softly like a distant star nestled among the trees and hummed with an enchanting melody that seemed to call my name. Drawn by its alluring glow, I followed the path illuminated by the light, feeling a sense of anticipation and wonder. As I approached, the source of the light revealed itself, a magnificent treehouse woven into the branches of a grand oak. The treehouse looked like it had grown naturally from the tree, with walls made of intricately woven branches and a roof adorned with moss and flowers. Glowing lanterns hung from the branches, casting a warm and inviting light, while creeping vines adorned with twinkling fairy lights climbed up the trunk and across the structure. The treehouse exuded a magical charm, its presence both grand and cozy, as if it had always been there, waiting to be discovered. I could feel the enchantment in the air, a gentle hum that resonated with the melody that had guided me here. With a deep breath, I stepped closer, feeling the soft moss underfoot and inhaling the sweet scent of blooming flowers mixed with the earthy aroma of the forest. A wooden ladder, carved with delicate runes, led up to the entrance of the treehouse. The runes glowed faintly, pulsating with the same rhythm as the enchanting melody that filled the air. As I ascended the ladder, I felt a sense of calm wash over me, as if the worries and stresses of the outside world were being left behind with each step. Reaching the top, I found a beautifully carved wooden door, slightly ajar, inviting me inside. I pushed the door open gently, and a soft, welcoming light spilled out, enveloping me in warmth. As I stepped inside the enchanting treehouse, I knew that I had arrived at a place of magic and wonder, where anything was possible, and the ordinary world seemed far, far away. I was immediately greeted by a sense of warmth and coziness. The interior was a delightful blend of nature and magic. Shelves carved from the tree's branches lined the walls, filled with jars of colorful potions, dried herbs, 
and mysterious trinkets. The ceiling was adorned with delicate vines and flowers that seemed to glow faintly, casting a soft, soothing light throughout the space. In the center of the room, a large cauldron bubbled gently over a crackling fire, releasing a fragrant steam that filled the air with the scent of lavender and honey. The room was alive with the soft hum of magic, a melody that intertwined with the natural sounds of the forest outside. From behind a curtain of trailing ivy, a figure emerged. She was a tall, elegant woman with flowing silver hair that cascaded down her back like a waterfall of moonlight. Her eyes sparkled with wisdom and kindness, and her smile radiated warmth. She wore a robe of deep green, embroidered with intricate patterns of leaves and flowers that seemed to shimmer in the light. Welcome, dear traveler, she said in a voice as soothing as a lullaby. I'm Alara, a humble potion maker and keeper of this enchanted haven. It's not often I have visitors, but the forest has a way of bringing me those who need a touch of magic. I felt an immediate sense of comfort in her presence, as if I had known her for a lifetime. I was drawn here by the light and the melody, I replied, my voice barely above a whisper. It was as if they were calling to me. Ilara's smile widened, and she nodded knowingly. The forest has a way of guiding those who seek solace and wonder. Come. Sit by the fire and warm yourself. You must be tired from your journey. I followed her to a cozy corner of the room, where a plush armchair awaited me. As I settled into the chair, Ilara busied herself around the room gathering various ingredients and placing them on a wooden table beside the cauldron. Here in my cottage, I create potions and remedies to aid those in need, she explained as she worked. Each potion is crafted with care, using the gifts of the forest and the magic that flows through these ancient trees. I watched in fascination as she moved gracefully, her hands deftly measuring and mixing ingredients 
with practiced ease. The air was filled with the scent of fresh herbs and the sound of Alara's gentle humming, creating an atmosphere of peace and tranquility. Tonight, I shall prepare a special potion just for you, Ilara said, turning to me with a twinkle in her eye. Her words filled me with a sense of anticipation and gratitude. I knew that I was in the presence of someone truly special, and I couldn't wait to see what magic awaited me in this enchanted haven. Ilara moved with a practiced grace as she gathered the ingredients for the potion. Each component seemed to have a life of its own, glowing softly in the dim light of the treehouse. She beckoned me to join her at the wooden table, where an array of herbs, flowers, and crystals were carefully arranged. Every ingredient has its own magic, Ilara began, her voice a gentle murmur. Tonight, we'll be crafting a potion to help you drift into sweet dreams, releasing all of your worries so you can rest in complete peace. She handed me a small bundle of lavender. It scent calming and familiar. Crush these flowers gently and add them to the cauldron, she instructed. As I followed her directions, I felt a sense of calm wash over me. The repetitive motion of my hands, soothing. Next, Ilara selected a handful of chamomile blossoms. Chamomile for tranquility she said, sprinkling the delicate petals into the bubbling brew. It helps quiet the mind and prepares the soul for a restful slumber. She then picked up a shimmering crystal. Its surface catching the light in a dazzling display. This is Moonstone, she explained. It channels the energy of the moon, bringing dreams that are peaceful and serene. She placed the crystal into the potion and the liquid glowed momentarily with a silvery light. Together, we continue to add ingredients to the cauldron, each one carefully chosen for its magical properties. A pinch of valerian root for deep relaxation. A sprig of rosemary 
for protection, and a few drops of honey to sweeten the dreams. With each addition, Ilara explained the significance. Her words, weaving a tapestry of magic and tradition. As the potion simmered, Ilara took my hand and led me to a small alcove in the treehouse. There, nestled among the branches, was a cozy nook with a view of the starlit sky. The ceiling was made of clear crystal, allowing a perfect view of the heavens above. Soft cushions and blankets were arranged invitingly, and the air was filled with the soothing sounds of the forest night. While the potion brews, how about we share some stories? Ilara suggested, settling down beside me. She began to tell tales of the forest, of the ancient trees, and the magical creatures that lived among them. Her voice was melodic each word wrapping around me like a warm embrace. Time seemed to stand still as we talked and laughed. The worries of the outside world fading into the background. The gentle hum of the potion brewing and the soft glow of the lanterns created an atmosphere of pure tranquility. Finally, Ilara stood and retrieved a small, ornate cup from a shelf. She dipped it into the cauldron, filling it with the now glistening potion, handing it to me, she said, drink this and let all your worries melt away. May your dreams be sweet and your sleep be peaceful. I took the cup and sipped the potion. It was warm and sweet, with a hint of lavender and honey. As I finished the drink, a wave of calm washed over me. and I felt my eyelids grow heavy. Ilara tucked the blankets around me. Rest now, she whispered. You are safe here, surrounded by magic and wonder. The warmth of the potion spread through me, its magic gently unraveling the knots of tension in my body. My eyelids grew heavier, 
and the world around me softened into a comforting blur. Ilara's gentle humming continued to weave through the air, blending seamlessly with the sounds of the forest night. I lay back on the soft cushions, gazing up at the starlit sky through the crystal ceiling. The stars seemed to twinkle with a special brilliance, as if they too were imbued with the magic of the cottage. A feeling of utter peace washed over me, and I allowed myself to be carried away by the serene beauty of the moment. Ilara settled beside me, her presence a reassuring anchor. Let your mind drift, she murmured. Focus on the stars and let their light guide you into a deep, restful sleep. As I followed her advice, my thoughts began to slow each one melting away like snowflakes in the sun. The stresses and worries of the outside world felt distant and unimportant, replaced by a profound sense of tranquility. I felt as though I were floating, cradled by the gentle embrace of the treehouse and the forest beyond. Ilara continued to share stories, her voice a soothing melody that lulled me further into relaxation. She spoke of the ancient oak tree, how it had stood for centuries, watching over the forest and all its inhabitants. She told tales of the creatures that lived among the branches and roots, from mischievous sprites to wise old owls. Every living thing has its own magic, she said softly, and that magic is what connects us all. When you sleep, you're part of that connection, part of the tapestry of dreams that weave through this world and beyond. Her words resonated deeply within me, and I felt a sense of belonging, as if I were part of something much greater than myself. The hum of the potion's magic, the glow of the lanterns, and the gentle sounds of the forest all blended together into a symphony of peace. As my eyes closed fully, the last thing I saw was the twinkle of the stars above. 
each one a tiny beacon of light in the vast expanse of the night sky. I felt myself drifting, carried on a gentle current of dreams that promised rest and rejuvenation. Ilara's voice faded into the background, becoming part of the comforting hum that surrounded me. I knew that I was safe, protected by the magic of the treehouse and the kindness of the witch who had welcomed me so warmly. With a contented sigh, I let go of my final conscious thoughts and surrendered to the embrace of sleep. The night enveloped me in its soothing darkness, and I drifted into a realm of sweet, peaceful dreams.